Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and today in our uh, Back to Basics episode we're gonna visit the Windows or the Microsoft Store. And the reason why we're gonna visit the Microsoft Store is because this uh, store is going to take more and more space in the future. Um, you know, I get a lot of mail from people saying I'll never upgrade to Windows 8 or 10 or as long as apps are there well, you'll probably never upgrade if you think like that because the Microsoft Store and the apps are there to stay and they're even going to take more and more space. And the reason for that is simple. The Microsoft Store does give a very easy way of installing apps that you like and programs without having the hassle of, you know, answering a million questions and um, often questions that you don't even know if you have to answer yes or no. It's much simpler. And frankly, it gives you the same programs. It just gives you the programs in the form of apps instead of having them in the form of the old style program file uh, installed that we have. So the Microsoft Store is where everything is gonna go. There's not gonna be another store. You'll be buying stuff from the Microsoft Store. Some of you might have the Microsoft Store already in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. Um, I personally removed it from there because I always go on the start screen when I want to get it, but most of you have a little icon of that store. Or else, if you go into the start screen, you should see it somewhere. And if you're not really sure, simply write store and you will be going to the Microsoft Store very easily by clicking Store. And it's that green icon with a little shopping cart. It is sometimes not visible because it's a lifestyle, so sometimes it shows different deals and uh, apps that are available, but it is that little green icon. Once you click on it, you'll be sent to the Microsoft Store. Now, one word of caution. If you have not set up your Windows 8 computer, with a Microsoft account, it is something that you'll need to do because the Microsoft Store uses the same account that you have set up. So if you're in a local account, meaning that your computer was not set up with any Microsoft account before it was set up, then the Microsoft Store will display, but when you want to purchase something, and uh, by purchase I mean even free stuff, you'll have to sign up. It's going to say, well, you got to move to a Microsoft account for this. Here in the store, you'll have the different apps that are available. Games, uh, all sorts of free stuff, new stuff, um, you know, apps of all sorts. On the top, you have the home button, which brings you basically to the home page of the Microsoft store. You've got top charts. If you click here, you can see top free games, top free apps, and so on. And so you can, you know, check for that. But you can also search by categories where you're going to have different uh, apps. So, for example, uh, games, social, entertainment, uh, maybe education, business, security, uh, productivity stuff, tools, and so on. You have collections because sometimes we have game collections that show up and that are set up for people that use certain types of applications. You also, of course, have everything that has to do with your account by clicking account. And if you're searching for something in particular, you can click the search for apps on the upper right. Let's say, for example, you need Skype, then you could click Skype. And there, once you click or press enter, you'll see the Skype app and everything that is related to Skype on the Microsoft Store. How do you install a app? Once you've seen the app itself, how do you install it? It's very easy. All you have to do is simply click on the app itself. And once you click on the app, you click that green install button. And it's going to install itself automatically. Now one thing to be careful in a Microsoft Store, and I really, really hope Microsoft does work hard to fix this. There's a lot of spoof and stuff that aren't supposed to be in the Microsoft Store. It's probably the um, 
biggest problem is that if when you're searching for an app, you will often be sent to, for example, here, Skype, which is the real app here on the upper left. But look at all the Skype type software that is around here. And some actually have what looks like a Skype thing and will actually make you pay for it. It's going to have a price. And you know what? That is the biggest problem. Make sure that when you click on what you want, it's the real deal, the real thing. So this Skype is the real thing. It's totally free. So just be careful. There's a lot of uh, these bad things. For example, uh, one that I was talking about at a certain point was a VLC, I think. VLC for Windows 8, where you've got the free VLC. But there's a lot of, you know, features, VLC player, guide VLC media, run through VLC player. Look at these. These are paid stuff. And they use the same icon. They try to lure you into clicking the wrong thing. Be very careful. Make sure that you have the right thing. And, you know, if you're not sure, just back away before purchasing something that you might not actually uh, be the right thing for you. Once it's installed, where are the apps? For example, I just bought on the Microsoft Store the uh, new a Halo game, which is Halo Spartan Attack. Spartan Attack. Or Spartan Strike, I don't remember exactly. It's Spartan... Spartan Strike. I think it's Strike. Uh, I've installed this one and um, a few days ago. So where do you get or where do you find your apps? Several things can happen. When you click and install a new app, it can either show up on your start screen somewhere. But if it doesn't, remember that there's the little arrow here at the bottom that shows you all the other apps. And here you'll see Hello Spartan Strike. This is what I've installed. So it will show up either by uh, the name. So if you remember the name, that makes it a little difficult. Uh, I must say this also is something that needs to be fixed. But that's why I always choose by date installed on the upper left of my apps because it always puts the latest apps that I've installed on my computer on the left. I know that this is, you know, the three here are the three latest apps that I've installed actually. So it's easier to see. Once you have your app, you can actually right click on it and you have the possibility to pin it to start, pin it to the taskbar also. And of course, you have the uninstall button. So uh, for example, I'll pin the Halo Spartan Strike to the start screen because that's where I want it. And I'll put it below games because that's where I want it. And uh, here, let's put everything into my Windows games. Let's, there we go. And now everything is under Windows games for me here, which is much easier uh, to go through. So now it's on the start screen and I know that it's easy to access. So that's the Microsoft Store for you. Um, go through, there's uh, you know a lot of apps. There's not as many apps, I would say, as for example, an iPhone would have in the App Store. Uh, there's still a big, big difference in the number of apps. But one thing that's interesting is the major apps, the ones that pretty much everybody want, is usually available even in the Microsoft Store. So at least you'll have pretty much everything you want. And you know, this is the future. In Windows 10, we already know that uh, the next versions of Microsoft Office, for example, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, will all be through the Microsoft Store. There's not going to be any downloads anymore. You'll have to go through the Microsoft Store. So um, it's interesting for that. And also it's interesting to note that these are apps, for example, the next version of Office, uh, from what I know, is not going to be available in Windows 7. It's going to be able, available only to Windows versions that have the Microsoft Store on it, which means Windows 8, Windows 10. So that's, you know, the future of computers. And you'll have to get used to it, even if you don't like it, unfortunately. Um, there's no going back. And, you know, every platform is going towards this new way of installing. Even the Mac now has its App Store on is on the... Uh, 
OS 10 um, computers now. So, um, you know, everybody's going towards apps. It is much simpler. And also, we have to say that they have more control over um, the software and piracy. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have something you'd like us to make a video, let us know. We'll try to post online. Maybe we can help you with something or maybe another uh, user watching our videos can help you also. Uh, it's really fun to see the interaction and people helping each other. And hopefully, you'll come back to the Windows 8 channel.